While Nuclei is a great scanner, its true power lies in the ability to create your own templates. With these templates, we can add our own checks to the security scanner and greatly expand the functionality of Nuclei. In this video, we will show you how to write templates for Nuclei. We will show you how templates are built up by making a template to check for DNS records. Before we get started, the Nuclei template documentation explains everything we are going to use in the video. While it's not needed to read the documentation before watching the video, it's advised to read it when creating templates. The documentation might seem a bit daunting at first, but if you watch the entire video, it should become a lot easier to understand the documentation and you should be able to write your own Nuclei templates. In this example, we will build a template that is able to check if the CAA record is set on a domain. The CAA record allows the domain administrator to control which certificate providers are allowed to provide certificates for the domain. This is an extra level of security that can be added to a domain name. Using this example, we will show you which components are required in a template. To write this template, the first thing we need to make is a file with the YAML extension. Nuclei uses YAML files as templates. Let's create a file with the name checkcaarecord.yaml. In the empty template, we start with defining the basic structure of the YAML file. This will include defining the ID of our template, as well as the different sections we need to define, such as the info and the request fields. The first thing we need to set is the ID field. The ID field in the template is a required field that uniquely identifies the template. The ID field must be a string that does not contain spaces and is considered valid JAML. It should provide some indication of the purpose of the template. Typically, the ID field is named after the misconfiguration that the template is designed to detect. Internally, Nuclei uses the ID field to reference the template. It is also displayed in the output when we run the template. Next, we will need to add several metadata fields that will provide context and important details about the template. The following items are required. The name, description, severity level, and any relevant tags or references. This helps us to identify the purpose of the template and its potential impact. The name field should clearly and concisely describe what the template does. For example, we might use check if a CAA record has been set as the name. The severity field indicates the potential impact of the item that the template is checking for. In this case, we might choose medium severity since a misconfigured or missing CAA record could lead to unauthorized TLS certificate issuance. The description field provides more detail about what the template does and why it's important. It should explain what a CAA record is, why it's important for security, and how the template will help check if it's properly set. The reference field should provide a link to relevant documentation or resources that explain more about the vulnerability or misconfiguration that is being checked. In this template, we use a link to an article that explains what the CAA records are and how to configure them. The tags field lists any relevant tags or categories that our template falls under. In this case, we might use security and DNS as our tags to indicate that the template is related to both security and DNS. Now that we have created the metadata tags, we can create a request that our template will use to check if the CAA records is configured. To check the CAA records, we need to make a DNS query to retrieve the CAA record for the target domain. We can create a request to do this using the DNS protocol in Nuclei. This allows us to perform DNS requests and retrieve the results. The name field in the request section is set to FQDN. This is a variable that will be replaced by a fully qualified domain name of the target when a template is run. The type field is set to CAA, indicating that we want to retrieve the CAA record for the domain. Next, we will use a matcher to look for the word in tab CAA. A matcher is a way to match or compare responses from requests. There are six types of matchers. Status, which compares integers, Size, which looks at the content length. Word, which is able to match words. Regex, which is able to match based on regular expressions. Binary, which can compare binary responses. And DSL, which can compare DSL responses. Since we are using a word matcher, 
If the word is found, we'll consider the check to be successful, indicating that a CAA record has been set for the domain. Let's try running the template on a domain with a CAA record, such as Google. What we see then is that Nuclei reports it as an observation. If we want to change this, we can use a negative variable. By setting it to true, a negative output becomes positive and the other way around. When we run it now on Google.com, we see that Nuclei no longer reports an issue. If we run the template on example.com, we see there is an observation because the Nuclei template does not find a CEA record. By changing the template a little, we can quickly make the template that shows the content of a found CEA record. This allows us to quickly see if the CEA record has been configured correctly. The first thing we change is a negative variable. Instead of triggering the template when it has not found a CEA record, we want to trigger it when it has found the CEA record. Since we don't need the negative variable anymore, we can remove it. Next, we will add an extractor. An extractor gives us the ability to extract information from responses to the DNS request. Extractors have five different types. Regex, KVAL, JSON, XPAT, and DSL. The Regex extractor can extract data based on regular expression. The KVAL extractor is able to extract key value formatted data for example, header and cookie responses. The JSON extractor is able to extract JSON-based responses. The XPath extractor can extract XPath data from HTML responses. This allows us to extract data from web pages. The DSL extractor can extract response data based on DSL expressions. In this template, we need to extract text, so we get a regex extractor to use regular expressions to extract the results. To select regex, we select the type variable and set the type to regex. The following variable we'll use is the group variable. This variable allows us to group items together. While this is not needed in the current template, it is good to know that you can group data, so it's easier to extract and analyze it. In this example, we'll set the group to 1. Next, we'll set the regex variable. This variable is used to set the regex the template needs to match. This is where we'll extract the CAA certificate information. We can find out online by searching a little that the CAA record can contain three different lines of text. Lines of text are issue, issue wild, and iodev. Each of these will be followed by the certificate authority name. This will we'll extract using a regular expression. We'll use a dot asterisk regular expression. This grabs the rest of the line of the CAA record. When we run this template on example.com, we can't see any indication that the template ran. This is because example.com does not have a CAA record set. Let's try running it now on a domain that has a CAA record set. Google.com has a CAA record set. When looking at the output, we can see that the template returns the CAA record that has been set. This should have given you a basic idea how templates work. If you want to know more about how to write templates, we can look at the documentation that Nuclei provides. When looking at the documentation, you will notice that all of the templates have the same structure, similar to what we've seen in this video. This concludes this video. If you learned anything, please leave a like, comment, check one of our other videos or subscribe. It would really help us in the algorithm. And thank you for watching.